I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we're working towards our goal of becoming a full-time sailing, cruising family. For the last two years we've been restoring our steel pilot house sailing yacht and rebuilding it for the three of us to live on. But now I'm pregnant, it looks like the boat will eventually be too small. So we started looking for a slightly bigger boat, more suited to a family of four. And we took on this amazing Bowman 46 Yule, which has plenty of room for all of us. So now we're working hard to get both boats in the water so we can choose which one will be the right boat for us to head off and explore the world in. Follow along to keep track of our progress as we focus on getting our family afloat. Last time we gave you a show round of the whole boat and showed how she looked when we first got her and then how she looked after three days of cleaning. In this week's episode we show you some of the actual boat jobs we got done in that first visit including assessing the rigging, the wiring and getting the engine started. Hello and uh, this is another day of, um, what do you call it, cleaning this boat. Yeah. Um, Mike is back. Say hi. <laughs> Mum is uh, over there and Dad is doing some extremely dirty engine work. Is Paul, Paul has returned, Tim is still here. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, there might be. I cleaned it. I don't know where. I cleaned it. No, that's not. I've been so excited we've forgotten to film. Right, say hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Right, so Paul has brought a battery booster thing, and this is we've been emptying water out of the bilge and yada yada yada. But look, 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 look. Just do this, Paul. This is. We literally just did this two seconds ago, and um, something happened. And something happened. So if I connect that to there, connect that to there, and that on that one I think. Give yeah. Another spark. Uh, Twelve volt systems on, and and look at this. Watch what happens. There we are. Engines running. Beautiful little Yanma. We're not going to run it for long because we well we're changing the impeller and everything anyway, so we're not going to blow it up. But yeah, twelve volt works. Ignition works, everything works on this boat. The 240 is fine. I've got to connect Oil up the gas. pressure is fantastic. Is it really? It took ages for that to come back down. So we'll just do it again. Oil yeah. pressure warning light. Yeah. Start. Oil pressure's up. Stop. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is unbelievable. So we'll have no trouble with this. Pretty damn good. Yeah. You should have lights back there. There's one missing Right, so what I need to do now is just put batteries on. Um, bilge pumps, are they working? Not yet. Don't seem to be any, do they? Um, oh, could you just try the um, positive pressure? The, the kitchen pressure? It's there. Just to see if anything comes out taps. It's making gurgly noises, and it's making a lot of gurgly noises, but I don't think anything's coming out. It might just need to prime, might just let... There's water in the filter. Yeah, I think we need to trace the water tanks. Yeah, okay, let me turn that off. Um, there's definitely no water in the tanks because it's not stopping now we've turned the tap off. Unless... No. So do you want me to put some, clean that battery bar and put some proper batteries on, Paul? Yeah. While you change filters and stuff? Yeah. I think, I think that's a good idea. I'll clean the battery bay out, put some new batteries in. There's just, well, there was just a load of rainwater in the bottom of the boat. So everything's a bit grimy and dirty and disgusting. There's an engine room light as well. Is there really? Yeah. That's that. fantastic. The engine room is now illuminated. Yeah, you can get into the engine from the other side, from the, from the cockpit locker. Yeah, if you'll need to. Yeah. Looking at these filters, Andy. Yeah. Do you think they've been done? Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think you should run much on. 
Well, it's had a full engine rebuild two years ago, we were told. Yeah. That's what we were told. Check the, what's the oil look like? Clean as a whistle. Right, so it's never been run, has it? No. Do you want to check the gearbox oil? Can do. Yeah, let's check the gearbox oil. And then, then it's just a matter of... Uh, of sorting them... Sorting them cables out. You need one, two... Three. Three, three broken ones, is it? I'd renew the lot of them, to be honest. What, all of the connectors? connectors yeah, I've got a full load of connectors in the van. There are water traps, see if there's any water in the diesel. There's a filter there. Right, oh that's a rake ore, isn't it? With a water thing in it. Does any of this need to be changed or just cleaned up? What I don't get is the fuel pump there. Mm -hmm. It's going in but no out. Right, so it's not in commission, is it? Yeah. It's not, is it? I don't think that's in commission, no. That, that fuel pump. Because this tank is higher than the engine. I, so I think that, that uh, fuel pump fed was, it, yeah. was for when it was in the, in the um, keel. If gravity fed it. Yeah. So, so the long and the short of it is that the fuel tanks were in the keel on this boat. Uh, they've been decommissioned and the new fuel tank is there, which is pitifully small. Uh, but at least it means it's a get your home jobby and we can recommission the long, the, the big tanks in due course. Steering's absolutely immaculate, isn't it? Very good. New cables, drive um, gear and throttle cables. They're brand new, aren't they? Yeah. All the pipe works brand new. It just looks a little bit manky, that's all, but it's only paint. Now, there's been water up to the bottom of the sump. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to check whether the sump has rusted through? An aluminium sump. Right, so it's not going to rust through. Nope. Flipping heck. Yep. It's got antifreeze in it. Paul's just been drinking it. <laughs> horrid. What's horrid? Right. Your electric's actually very, very good. So I'm going to go and get batteries. I'm going to change all the terminals on the cables. I think your deck drain pipes are half your problem. Oh, yes. And then um, we're going to get uh, this engine back up and running with a hose on it in a bit. Uh, back shortly. Engine handbook. Right, so Tim, what have we got? Give us a give us a bit of a You've got a nice rig. rundown. Oh, um, that battery. Yes, I've just put that there. Ah, yeah, excellent. Uh, and the good news is the deck light up there. Right. Yeah, we've got a working deck light. Right, give us a walk round of what the, the, the rig on this boat. Cool. So, uh, yeah, all the standing rigging looks really nice it's all really fresh well fresh. apparently we're told the standing rigging was recently renewed and the whole lot is uh, uh i think is a two or four years old so it's got plenty of time left on it yeah very nice um so it's all pretty much complete um there's a few little things like the mizzen topping lift just isn't here I don't know. okay um there's no space for one to run so i don't know if they just have a van for that or if it was uh, no, you wouldn't have a van, but there's nowhere to run a topping lift for no, the mizzen no, no. boom. That's weird. Yeah, it is. That's weird. Bear in mind, you know it'll come out the back of the side of the. Yeah, there's just one pulley block there. Oh, which the main halibut was coming out of. Okay. Um, What's this one for then? That must be for the um, some kind of uh, mizzen stasel. The mizzen stasel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, lovely. Uh, so the running ring is all. Running rigging is all off. Yeah. Um, what's your uh, what's your um, feeling about the running rigging? Yeah, it's not too bad. So, so some of them, it looks like it's brand new, like this one. Yeah. Look like a brand new line that's been left to go green. So yeah. hopefully yeah. in the washing machine that'll come up. This one's not far Excuse off you. Excuse me. Uh, it's like sneezing. It's a bit aware, but it's hopefully also will work in the washing machine. Fleshy. Lovely. And um, so yeah, most of that should be reusable. So Tim's taken all of the running rigging out, put mouse lines through and has labelled everything so we can take them home. Um, Lay, uh, wash them, relabel them, and then bring them back and reinstall them. What comes out of here? Uh, that didn't have a line in it, but like, you could use it for a mizzen stasel, I imagine, because that's the forward side of the mast. Oh, yeah. How do you rate all the riddling? I've been giving it a 7 out of 10 to Jack all day. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so, what about the main sail? Uh, mains, the main mast, rather. Mains, yeah, similar sort of situation, but obviously there's a lot more going on. Yeah. The backstay comes down, splits into two parts, and there's one... And we're missing a pin. OK, that's fine. Um, but that's easy to fix. Yeah, I've got um, loads of that kind of thing. All of the stays have their bottle screws ready to go. Great, um, so we're not missing any bottle screws. Yeah. 
and the ends of all of them are oh, their good Norseman fittings as well. Yeah, it all looks, uh, all looks really, really, really fresh and new. Yeah, that's ne that's never been that's never been in the sea, has it? No. Yeah, we think this has been re-rigged and never launched. It's nice. Yeah, it's even got yeah. um, it's even got labels on. Yeah. What does that say? Yeah, so long it's faded. Bowman forty six, Luke Lucas yachting, pieces Peterson rigging. Oh, look at this. Something. What does that? Mike Lucas yachting, Peterson rigging. So we'll contact Peterson rigging. I found that. Yeah, we'll find out if we can. It on the van. Yeah, we'll find out if we can find out when the yacht was re-rigged exactly. Yeah, you'll need to just pull the uh, cable through. <laughs> we'll just test these uh, spreader lights as well, see if they work. Yeah, the cables are all, someone's pushed them inside the mast. Yeah. Did you check any of the um, sheave blocks set into the mast to see if any of them are jammed up like these? Um, None of them are perfect, but they are all spinning, yeah. Brilliant. Mm. Completely deep. Yeah. Um, they could all do a seat uh, service, really. OK. Uh, cool. Same with the winches, they're all a little bit stiffer than the... They all need a service. Yeah, but they work. Somebody's actually stolen one of the winches off this mast here. Mm. This isn't a big problem, I can... Yeah, there's a bit of a scratch. Yeah, they've ragged it with the angle grinder. What an absolute tragedy. Um, so we'll have to make a plinth and put another winch on that side. Mm. Although we've got enough winches, you know, to, to get be getting on with, it's fine. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so we're scrubbing the bilge, which is always a fun job. Is it? No. Okay. That's called sarcasm <laughs> What are you doing, Andrew? We've got Andrew here. I'm just trying to fish some cables through for the uh, nav pod. Nice. And what are you doing? And I'm making a nav pod because the boat doesn't have one. Well, it had half a one. Oh. So I'm making a nav pod out of a, an electrical conduit box until I talk to Scanstra. Okay. Um, but uh, I'll Maybe. see if we can get one from San Scanstra. Yeah, Dad's yeah. making one as a uh, temporary measure. Um, just to get us back and get our nav equipment in the um, in the cockpit. Okay, cool. And what have you been doing this morning, Jack? Well, I have been earning three pounds. Um, I have been cleaning. You haven't earned it yet because you haven't no. finished. But what have you? Been hey, doing? I have finished the windows. All of them. Yeah, and every you single and you one. You rinsed them all off afterwards and then went round with window cleaner. Uh, no, I haven't done that yet. Yeah. We didn't realise I was supposed to do that. So you've been doing what then? I've been scrubbing the windows with soap. Excellent. You're doing a good job. You can see out of them now. Yeah. But they're not finished. No. Oh, yeah. the green mank is off them. Oh, wow, yeah, they look really good, Jack. Now you just need to go over them with like a spray window cleaner. And a, and a microfiber. And, and a microfiber to get them really sparkly clean. Mm. Maybe You've you done a good film, job. Film yourself doing that. What am I supposed to film? Oh, well, you can stop for a minute. All right, so here's looking a lot cleaner. That bag is full of all the cabling that we need to clean and work out where it's going. Dodge one. Looks a bit like carnage out here. It is. I'm fitting winches still. Fitting winches? Yeah. Sun is shining, um, and we are here working on this boat. <laughs> um, Jack and I are just 
cleaning the mast. Uh, we've done the this one, haven't we? The mizzen mast. Jack's been doing a great job. Uh, but we're you see it's pretty pretty green and manky. So we're just working on that today. Today the uh, yacht surveyor is here bashing the boat with his rubber mallet. Um, but mum and dad and Paul I don't know what the wiring is, but I'll... Uh, um, doing the mast. I'm guessing the black one will be a ground. It's here. Paul. It's Paul. I am the mast guard. <laughs> Not the diesel whisperer. The mast guard. I am guard. the mast guard. That's mast. mast. <laughs> Do you want to come and see what I've done? Yeah, Paul will show you what I've done. Make sure you're not just pointing at Paul's bum. Or nostril. So basically, we've removed this horrible cooker cable that was running up nice. to the tricolour. Horrid, horrid, horrid throw away. No longer required. And replaced it with that. This one? So we have a, oh, a lovely tricolour, which mm -hmm. does port, starboard and all around and core light also and we fitted the new VHF which goes up and into the mast and here Lovely. will be the wind speed, the digital wind speed indicator mm -hmm. and when, everything. When's it going up? When it goes up. Okay we've got white light all around. Oh hang on. Put do it, that again. Do it again. Nice. Right that's white light all around. That's Angkor. Where's the sensor? We had to put it in a box last time. Anything? White light. White light all around. If you, you join the other one and I'll close it up. Please join the other one. Okay, we've got nav lights there and stern light. Well, uh, some of the lights are automatic, so we have to cover them to get them to turn on. Yeah, so they only come on when it's dark. Did you film yourself cleaning the mast yesterday? No. Yeah. Um, the entire mast was green. It had like this green dent on that was like that thick. Um, I jet washed it. it. Came off very nicely. Well, some bits did. Quite satisfying. Yeah, quite satisfying when you didn't get frustrated because there was like this bit of gunk that couldn't come off so you have to like, go really really close to it um i did both masts that one this one that one had more dunk on and i think it looks a lot nicer now there's this there's this paint here because this because it's a keel stepped mast um which comes up to basically about here so it's a keel stepped mast so they decided to decorate it with some Floaty paint. And over here we've got all the running rigging that has been labelled. What's that say? That says Genoa sheet. How can you read stuff upside down? I've got extra special upside down sensors. This one. Hmm. Hmm. That's gotten wet. It did say something, but it's got wet and washed off. Oh. Main mast topping lift. Main mast topping lift with some nice Christmas ribbon. Um, that's a fly. That's a slight problem. Ooh. Why do they keep... But don't worry, we had secondary labels. Oh, nice. Main, sheet, halyard. 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 No. Is it hall yard or ha halyard? Halyard. Halyard. But it comes from hauling up the yard lots of them have still got labels so we should should be fine should be able to do a process of elimination, elimination. no illumination presents no elimination yeah. so um we've got the yacht surveyor on the boat earlier he's whacking the boat with his little rubber mallet um now I've absolutely no idea what he's doing, but hopefully everything turns out okay. And nothing's a bit, um, don't know, shoddy. So 
will go here. Hmm? Yeah. It's all go. Right on it. What are you fitting at the moment? Uh, Who are you talking to? Both of you. <laughs> Spreader lights. Uh, steaming light. Steaming light. And a down light by the looks of it. And a big bright <laughs> LED down light, yeah. Nice. Um, Seagull deterrent. <laughs> Seagull deterrent. Yeah. After these three, four, the only thing left to do is there's some there's the the uh, cockpit in light that's in the on the mizzen mast. Okay. And that's it. That's all the wiring. Nice. Then we can turn our attention to running rigging. We do hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please leave us a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comments section below. And if you want to see some sneaky peeks into what's coming up, because we're filming quite a way ahead at the moment, head over and follow us on our Facebook and Instagram, link in the description of course. We'd like to say thanks to Will Scott and Andrew French for donations through Coffee, and we'd like to welcome aboard our new patrons Andrew Logan, Mary Lee and Bruce Warren. And thank our whole patron family for your continued support. We love you all. See you next time. Bye.